Hello guys and welcome to my cooking channel. Today I will show you how to make a traditional legume dish. Baked giant beans, gigades. Lots of veggies and fresh herbs combined with soft giant beans in a thick tomato sauce. A hearty and nutrient rich dish that everyone will enjoy. And let's begin. First of all, I have to say that this is the national Greek dish, Gigades, okay? It's the most famous Greek dish and I want to show you how to make it. I love this recipe, everybody loves this recipe. And let's begin. I need a chopping board for my veggies, but first of all, I have to show you how to prepare your beans. Here I have some Greek giant beans. They are dried, okay? And we have to give them life. How we do that? Easily put them in a bowl. Add some fresh water, enough to cover them and more than that. And I want to also to add a pinch of salt. That will help them to become more soft, okay? This is my secret ingredient. Do not add any soda, do not add anything else, just some salt is the best ingredient to add in all legumes. Now, I will let them soak for about 12 hours. After 12 hours, my beans will look like these beans. This is before and this is after. They are soft nice and if you just cover them with some paprika salt and pepper you can bake them in the oven and have a nice snack if you want but in this case we will carry on the recipe i will let them on the side and i have to take my pot go back and make sure that i will take off all this water wash them very well with some fresh water then drain them again Put them in the pot and cover them again with fresh water. I believe that all legumes are the most uh, charismatic ingredients in all over the world. These giant beans doesn't have anything to jealous from a nice cut of meat because they are full of protein, full of nutrients, and they are excellent and very tasty, okay? Now, I will cover the pot and I will boil them for about one hour until they become a little bit soft and nice. Now, no salt, no nothing inside the water, just the beans and water. At the same time, I will start preparing my veggies. I have here some plenty veggies, and I will chop them up. This is a very rustic and classic Greek dish. Vegans will love it, vegetarians will get crazy, and people that uh, they are meat lovers, they will really love them because the giant beans give you this meaty texture and flavor that if you don't know that they are beans, they will make you believe that actually they are meat, okay? Now, I have some onion here. As you can see, I don't have to finely chop it. I want big chunks, big bits of veggies. And I need some olive oil into my pan and gradually I will add in all my veggies. First the onion goes in. Then my celery. This is a very important ingredient, my friend like this. Fasolada without celery, it's not fasolada, okay? Now, I need some carrots. We have to saute all the veggies to take all this lovely flavor from the caramelization. And as you can see, I'm cutting the carrots lengthwise in half and then slice them this way. And then I'm adding the carrots. Carrot, celery, onion. And I have two cloves of garlic, big chunks. Don't worry, they will melt inside our sauce. And of course, red pepper. Again, big chunks, like this. We have to caramelize our veggies very well. I will add a little bit of sugar, just a pinch of sugar, maybe a little bit more, a teaspoon. I will add my spices too. Here I have some bay leaves. I will add one, two, three bay leaves, a cinnamon stick, and now I have to be patient for about 10 minutes until I have this perfect caramelization of my veggies. As you can see, it is already started, and in 10 minutes we'll carry on with the recipe.
My veggies are ready and it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. Here I have some tomato paste. This is an excellent ingredient. I love tomato paste. I will use two tablespoons of tomato paste and I will make sure that I will saute a little bit my tomato paste. Because if you do that, then you have more rich flavor and more rich sauce. Make sure that always you saute the tomato paste before you carry on with every recipe. And now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients, some tomato, some water, a little bit of wine, and here I have one veggie cube. If you want to use a chicken cube, you can use as well. But if you don't want to use any of it, you can add more salt and pepper because I will add some salt and pepper. Veggie cube is not enough seasoning for this recipe because we have a big amount of food. So I will add some salt and some pepper. And here I have some lovely rosemary and some lemon. I know that they may look like a lot of ingredients, but they're not, because all these ingredients are in your home. You have some carrots, you have some onions, you have some lemon, you have some rosemary. In this recipe, we combine all these ingredients together and we have this lovely aftertaste. Now, my beans are ready. Yeah. It's hot. They're almost done. They are still a little bit crunchy, but they are almost ready. We don't want to cook them more now because after we will cook them inside the oven for one and a half hour and it will be overcooked. So, a little bit crunchy at this point and it's time to put that bad boy in the oven. How? Simply take your beans. They are like chicken nuggets. Lovely. And it's a quite cheap recipe because you can feed at least eight people and you spend not even 10 euros. And look at this. And now it's time for a lovely bath. I will mix everything together. And lovely. Look at this. Nobody can resist in this recipe. Now, it's time for the final touches. I have some Celery leaves. Oh la la. I have some spring onions. Now I have some parsley. And as you can see, there are lots of greens, but don't worry. This is how we are making gigantes. Now I have to cover with some aluminum foil. One. Two. And it's time for the oven. My oven is preheated to 180 degrees Celsius set to fan. I will bake for one hour and 15 minutes and then I will uncover and carry on baking for another 15 minutes. Okay, like this? In total? One and a half hours. Exactly. And my gigades are ready! Yeah, look at this. This is the ultimate food. My God. This is unbelievable tasty. You have to let them inside the oven to create somehow a crust on the top. We love that. So on the top there are crusty and crunchy. Underneath there are soft and juicy. And we want to take a little bit of everything. If you didn't know, this is the national Greek food, okay? This is the, 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 the signature food of Greece. And this is the classic Greek dish, my God. This is lovely. I need some parsley on the top of it. We're using a lot of parsley in Greece. I want some fresh, extra virgin olive oil. And I need a little bit more olive oil on the top of the feta cheese. And of course, some oregano. Take some sordo bread, some feta cheese, and enjoy this lovely food because it's something unique. So tasty, so meaty, so flavorful, so Greek. And I will enjoy the bit of this loveliness. Mm.
nothing compared with beans. Gigantes, this kind of beans. If you try once, you will love it. If you try once, I'm sure, 100% sure that you will subscribe to my channel, make comments under the video, and of course, share this lovely recipe with your friends. Don't forget to follow in social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Viber. And please download our website, axpetrigix.com. It's a progressive app. You don't have to go to App Store. You just go visiting my website, and you download to the screen of your mobile phone. And then you have all the benefits that we have for all our viewers, okay? Now, see you next time. Bye-bye. Yassas, and I hope you try this recipe. I will carry on with fasolada. This is Girardes. This is one of my favorite dishes. Voila!